Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit for Monday, February the 20th, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning we find ourselves in the book of Ephesians, at chapter 5, verse 22 and following. And the title of this morning's biscuit is, Only God Could Think This Up. Only God Could Think This Up. And that's because it's so good. Uh, God can think it up and nobody else could. So, if you're wondering, it's 64 degrees outside this morning on the way to 79 cloudy and with light winds and today's top headline if you haven't seen the news yet is that god is still on his throne and will be exalted among the nations so kind of keep that uh in the back of your mind today <clears throat> as we turn now to ephesians chapter 5 uh, verse 22 and following let me remind you that what we're going over is god's plan for himself for his son jesus christ and the church and for a man and his wife, the home and the family. <clears throat> so here goes. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. Many translations say submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church. He himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also the wives ought to be to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. Actually, what we're doing this morning <clears throat> is a little bit of holdover uh, from yesterday's message at Ctex Church entitled, Are You Serious About Your Marriage? You never have enough uh, time <clears throat> to do everything it seems uh, in a worship service. So this is a follow-up. So here we go with uh, our treatment of Ephesians 5.22 and following. First, anything with no head is dead. Okay, like a chicken with its head cut off, uh, it kind of runs around for a second, but the, the doom is sealed. Anything with no head is dead. Anything with two heads is a monster. This is an old leadership principle among old preachers. Anything with no head is dead. Anything with two heads is a monster. Everything has to have order, and everything has to have one head, one leader. Christ is the head of the church, but <clears throat> he died to save her. The husband is the head of the wife. Wives are instructed by Scripture to be submissive <clears throat> to their husbands. Somebody has to be in charge. Let me remind you of that again. <clears throat> Somebody has to be in charge. The best form of government in the world, and I think many scholars agree about this, the best form of government in the world is benevolent paternalism. <clears throat> That's what the kingdom of God is. Our Father, which art in heaven, benevolent paternalism. The home is designed to function in benevolent paternalism. He is the leader, his job, the father, the daddy, the husband, his, he's the leader and his job is to provide for and to protect and to shepherd toward Christ, <clears throat> everyone that lives in that home. Now let me ask you this, what could possibly be better than the one who's calling the shots in the organization, the home, being willing to lay down his life for everyone else in that environment? The answer is nothing could be better than that. The biblical system or design is under full scale attack in modern society, today's society, and it has suffered widespread rejection. But I assure you that I'm sticking with it, as is every other believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know why? Actually, two reasons. <clears throat> Number one, because it works. And number two, because he said to do it. It's enough for me. Let me pray for you. <clears throat> Father, we ask this morning that as we begin our day, we would recognize that there is a God plan and an everybody else plan for everything in life. Father, I pray that we would receive and understand and implement the God plan. Father, we thank you for designing things the way you did. Lord, thank you that Jesus is the head of the church and gave himself up for it to redeem us. Father, I pray 
for each and every man, for every husband, every father, to be a benevolent paternalist today and to lay down his life figuratively and literally if need be for the blessing, the benefit of his wife and his children. Father, we pray that in a day that has lost its mind and lost its way, that we would not and that we would stick to that which you have said for your glory, for the blessing of your people. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> so, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.